and welcome to Prudent Media News. First, a look at the headlines. Afzal Khan's modus operandi hints at he being a trained terrorist, sued multiple identities in Goa, SIM cards belong to different people on fake addresses. India needs to produce 40% of world's electricity production needed to speed up nation's economic growth. Requirement will be over 8 trillion kilowatts, says Anil Kakorkar. Five eighty-five applicants of Lali Lakshmi scheme will get one lakh rupees check on Thursday. Nine thirty-six applications received, around twenty thousand forms printed. Kalangut police burst sex racket. Four Nepali girls rescued from a saloon and spa. Manager and employee and two customers in spa arrested. Nehru Cup success is an incredible achievement special title. A result of positive frame of mind, says Clifford Miranda. It's 50 years today since India won gold in 1962 Asian Games football. Goa's Fortunato Franco fills current India team is on right track under Kovemas. 1962 gold winner Franco felicitated by AIFF. And now the news in detail. Interrogation of suspected terrorist Afzal Khan is revealing many shocking facts. Afzal used multiple identities while interacting with different persons in Goa. The five SIM cards used by Afzal belong to five different persons. He changed his version many a times while being interrogated by police and lied on a number of occasions to misguide the probe. All qualities of a trained terrorist. His modus operandi is exactly that of a terrorist. He lied, manipulated and even tried to misguide the investigating agencies. But his intense interrogation is exposing him day by day. He used many identities and changed his name while mingling with different people in Goa. He introduced himself as Samir Ratho to a tour operator at Kalangud. Introduced himself as Afzal Pathan to a Zuari Nagar Vasco resident. But his real name is Afzal Ahmed Khan. He told police that all his five SIM cards belong to him and they are registered on his name. But data from the mobile companies exposed his this lie too. Four of the five SIM cards were not registered on his name. His mobile number 738552 is registered as Yogi Bilchandran. Address North Goa. Second mobile number 7385517867 is registered with Krishna Adhikari from Porwari. Third number 8975908845 is registered with Ayub Khan from Uttar Pradesh. And his fourth number 8392881949 Karasan Singh from Uttar Pradesh. Police doubt that Yogi Balchandran is fake name and the address is a lie. They are also probing validity of the other names from Goa and UP. In addition, Afzal has tried to misguide and distort probe through his ever-changing statements. This is what he said about his email and Facebook account. My email ID and Facebook account was created by my nephew. But his nephew contradicted his statement. He claimed that he never opened Afzal's account. Police are also finding out about his presence on Pune Blast Day. Is it to be ascertained whether accused was present at Jungli Maharaj Road or Fadke Houd, Budhwarpet or Kashapet in Pune on Blast Day? 
Police have already contacted different probe agencies and technical experts to dig deep into the case. Afzal will be handed over to the NIA on Wednesday. He has applied for bail. Murgaon Sessions Court will hear his plea on 6 September. Bureau Report, Prudent Media. India's eminent scientist Dr. Anil Kakodkar has stated that India will need to produce 40% of the world's electricity to meet its economic requirements. He says energy requirement will be over 8 trillion kilowatts. Dr. Kakodkar feels thorium and solar energy are the only resource options that can be tapped to produce large-scale energy by India. Dr. Anil Kakodkar was here at International Center at Dona Paula on Tuesday to deliver a lecture on challenges of promoting a green economy. India is facing power crunch. Recently, northeastern Indian states faced major power blackout due to grid failure. Dr. Kakodkar feels India will require huge energy to produce to meet its growth requirements. India will have to produce at least 40% of world's energy. Maybe it will stabilize at 1.6 billion. Maybe it will stabilize at 1.8 billion. But the fact still remains that we will need to produce something like 8 trillion kilowatt hours of electricity in our country from the present 0.8 trillion, 10 times more, partly because of increase in per capita and a little part because of increase in population. Also notice that 8 trillion kilowatt hours is roughly 40% or little more than 40% of the total electricity produced in the world. Whereas coal petrol are non-renewable, there are some sources of energy that Kakodkar feels can solve the energy crunch. Thorium and solar energy is the answer to the future energy requirements. For this time horizon, thorium on the non-renewable side and solar on the renewable side are the only two energy resources. And of course, both are green. They don't emit carbon dioxide. Former Atomic Energy Commission Chairman Dr. Kakodkar has played an important role in shaping India's nuclear energy program. He has also received Gomant Vibhushan from Goa government. A special reporter Rakesh Kandorkar for Prudent Media. 585 applicants of Lali Lakshmi scheme will get the check of 1 lakh rupees on Thursday. Till now, government has received 936 applications. Women and Child Development Department has printed over 20,000 forms. Minister for Women and Child Development Dilip Parvekar announced that the forms will be available in SBI, Bank of India and HDFC Bank. Parvekar also informed that the check and water sports policy will be announced by 15 September. साधारण सी आम नौशे छत्तीस फॉर्मा आमपर्यंत पाली आता फाइव हंड्रेड एंड एटी फाइव पांच पंच फॉर्मा हि सैंक्शन जाली आसा आधारण सी तीन से एकवन फॉर्मा पेंडिंग आसा मुझे तक कहीं तरी थोड़े डॉक्यूमेंट्स अर्दबुटी आसा हजे खीर पेंडिंग आ साधारण से दोन हजार बारह तेरह हा फाइनेशियल वर्षा खीर कमीत कमी गोयत पंद्रह हजार चलिया पर्यत हि स्कीम पाची हम प्रयत्न आ बैंकिंग स्टेट बैंक ऑफ इंडिया कड़े चार हजार दिन तंका दोगा बाकी तीन तीन आनी पर धा हजार फॉर्म छापू घ एम एल ए सी घोपक जाए अभी कंपलसरी ना एम एल ए सी घूम घूम कलेक्टर जो आता नॉर्थ गोवा साउथ गोवा घूमता कि गेजुटेटेड ऑफिसर वो सैक्रेटरी लेवल के ऑफिसर आ एडिशन सेक्रेटरी आंसर सिग्नेचर घर चलता आनी वी आर कमिंग आउट विद आवर पॉलिसी शेक पॉलिसी आनी दुसरे वॉटर स्पोर्ट्स पॉलिसी जो दोन मेजर पॉलिसी आ ह्यो के मीड ऑफ सप्टेंबर ये फुड़ी जो टूरिजम सीजन स्टार्ट जाता त्या टूरिजम सीजन अपने स्क्वाड तैयार जता इतक वर्स जे स्क्वाड आसता पे को मामलेदार आसता को पी आई आसता को आनी खो को आसता पता जे स्क्वाड तैयार जता ये स्क्वाड हमें डिपार्टमेंटा आसते 
वीच इंडिपेन्डंट चार्ज आसतलो आनी दुसरे ज्या वेळार त्यांना दिसता अर्ध्या वरा भर त्या त्या स्पॉटार वचून रेडी मारून जी कि कारवाई करू जाई ही सगळी कारवाई आमच्या स्कॉडा कडल्यान जातली आणि डेफिनेटली हेजो इतक्या दिसा जे कि चलताले त्याचे आळा बसतो अ सिनियर रिपोर्टर फ्रॉम पणजी लौकिक शिलकार विथ व्हिडिओ जर्नलिस्ट देवेंद्र गावकार इट्स टाइम फॉर अ शॉर्ट ब्रेक स्टेट्यूट